and we're back with another video. What's up friends? Welcome back to the workshop. Kramer here. Kramer here. That's how I answer my phone. Seriously? No caller ID? Just because I have a business. Kramer here. Today we're taking this big chunk of wood here and we're gonna make our own riser out of it. We're gonna make a longer riser than the one I had, try to put some limbs on it. I would not recommend doing this. This could be dangerous, but maybe I can make a lighter poundage bow. But I'm gonna show you how I got to this point. As I show you that, I'm gonna go work out, so I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, I thought the threads were backwards. You gotta be kidding me. So I could have kept screwing it in and it would have pulled it out. Well, I guess this is how to destroy a riser and build a new one. And here's the riser that we took all the hardware off of. And yes, I ruined this riser, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it. I may cut it open. I may keep it as a template, who knows? It does feel pretty good in the hand, but check it. You guys took so long to watch that, I went ahead and started on the next riser. You can see the size difference, basically the length. We still have a lot of wood to take off of this one. And I used plywood. You might think I'm crazy, I might be. I like to try things that most people don't. But uh, here, let me go back. I'll show you how I got to this point on this riser. Oh no. I'm just having too fun with this. Like, I went ahead and continued to work on this, but I will definitely catch you up here in a minute. But first, I put this plywood in here just because I didn't have enough wood to make it thick enough. And I didn't have another piece of wood that was that size, so no other reason, but I'm just kind of testing this out. I know plywood is really strong, so I don't think I'm structurally gonna have any problem with that. Also, the idea is to make a longer riser so that my poundage on these limbs will go down a little bit. The short your riser the stronger the limbs are gonna be and if you have a longer riser it's gonna make those limbs weaker and so in general people will switch out different weighted limbs like on ILF bows and that sort of thing I'm just taking a really cheap bow and trying to make my own riser just to practice just to test it out and to see how this goes let me show you how I shape this coming along really good I think the biggest key is gonna be keeping this straight but here you can go back a little bit check out how we got to here
Oh, you gotta be kidding me. All right, after making a lot of mistakes, here we are. The first thing is, I didn't account for the threads that I was tapping in, I was tapping into the plywood, and well, plywood doesn't tap very good at all, so I went ahead and glued the threads in. Hopefully that'll hold it in better. Plus, I put these two screws in, and then on the side, this slides up underneath the wood, and so it is held in from multiple spots, which should hold the limb plenty tight. But over here, I definitely had a disaster. I stripped the normal threads, and I didn't strip them, I screwed it in and I screwed too tight, broke the normal one, so I drilled these next two and I broke another one and then I drilled too far in that hole and whatever. So I've got these two screws in right here, should be good to go. Again, the metal's up under the wood so that'll help hold it in and then we've got the two screws in and then this plate also is holding in the tapped and glued threads in that the one bolt that actually holds the riser in goes there. So hopefully this will hold up. I wanted to go ahead and test these out and put these on now so that I didn't accidentally sand this part here and make this snug fit any worse. So now I'm gonna shape the rest of the handle and uh, here very soon we should have a bow. What's up, here the bow is, I think it turned out really, really good. First, before I draw it all the way back, 
I'm gonna throw it on the tillering tree, pull it down to 29 inches to see what the poundage is and to also make sure everything holds up. That is crazy. Down to 24 pounds. We went from a 45 pound bow to a 25 pound bow. How is that even possible? Here's the difference in the size of the risers. The new one we made is four inches longer. And so four inches longer drop 20 pounds. That's crazy, five pounds per inch. I thought it was gonna be much less than that, but it looks like it drew back fine. Ooh. Part of the reason I wanted a lower poundage bow is so I can practice my form with a lower poundage bow to nail it in first and then move up from there. I think I've been shooting with a little too heavy of a poundage of a bow, so this 25 pound bow should be perfect for me. All right, so I shot it a few times outside and so far I'm really pleased with it. One of the biggest problems for a new shooter is going too high in poundage too soon. And that's definitely what I've done for a really long time to create bad habits. So I need to drop back down to create good new habits. The riser is heavy because I use pretty dense wood. So it is a heavy riser, but I think that helps to the smoothness of the shooting. Outside's not the best condition. So I'll take a few shots in here so that you can see how it's performing. If you're in the need of any archery products, check out shatterproofarchery.com. Also, if you need any leather products like a wallet, a tab, a keychain, anything like that, check out shatterproofarchery.com. It is all there. We hand make every single item that's up on that website. It's a great way to support this YouTube channel and my small business. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. Also, remember to be positive. Stay shatterproof. Remember, I'm for you. I'll see you guys on the next video.